All right, welcome to my presentation about the white U from Toyo Ito, built in 1975. It is a house which was designed for his widowed sister and his niece. The former home had lacked a connection to nature. She wanted this connection in her new home. Furthermore, the house should work as something that encourages communication between its inhabitants. Um, I found that, that story very interesting, but I don't want to show the, the actual building right now. I want to show you pictures which came to my mind thinking about this text. And these are pictures like these um, structures or houses deeply um, embedded in the, in the landscape, going into a, a conversation with the landscape. Um, for example, this project by Dedo van Meisel or um, this, this uh, tree houses by Studio Brecht on the very uh, right side. But the, the actual um, building did look like, did look like that. Um, so am I wrong thinking um, that, this, that the original building is, is not fitting um, his, his statement or is he wrong or is with, with he, I mean, uh, Doyo Ito is, is either of us right or wrong. Um, so I want to show you a short um, clip from the series White, which uh, came to my mind thinking about um, the scenery in, in the house itself. Can you hear it? Okay. Yeah. Was ich bin. Verbotene Gedanken. Erinnerungen, die wir nicht in sich sehen wollen. Sie tanzen um uns herum in der Ecke. Sie spüren. Sie machen uns hysterisch. Uh, don't get too distracted from the images. Uh, I hope you can more um, rely on, on the text itself. Speaking about uh, consciousness and unconsciousness, um, I want to ask, so what is life about? Is it about who we are or who we are not? Um, or should I say who we think we are? Um, Toyo Ito said about the, the house, that every house is born from a dualism between the demand for a deeper form of life, a virtual demand that is often unconscious, and the possibility of staying open to the everyday dynamics of the family and its social rules. But the white you ignored this dualism and only tried to respond to the first question on its um, also a very nice statement, which is fitting in my opinion, is uh, we shape our buildings and afterwards our buildings shape us from Winston Churchill. Um, so I begin with the uh, personal project now, which is called the act of transformation or a house as and for an introvert. Mm. This is the house's favorite place. Um, it's so special for the house that it even placed the chair there. The only chair the house owns. The light talks to the house many hours a day, but only in this specific moment the house really listens. It not only listens, it responds to the light by casting a shadow. The house's favorite color is white. However, the house doesn't even know 
what colors are. But since you cannot imagine any other color than the ones you have already seen, the house is just fine with white. And since the light and the house talk to each other, there are many shades of white. Even black is a sort of white for the house. Rather than noise, the house enjoys silence. It listens to nature and its inhabitants. The house enjoys nature. It likes it so much that it doesn't share it with its surroundings. And now the talks with Alice. Okay, how do I do this? Do you still hear me when I talk? We don't hear uh, the video. Okay. Um, it's just a snow, snow sound. Do you hear it? No? I think you should reshare it with sharing of the audio. Okay. Does it work now? No, it's good. Okay. okay. It was dark. Almost all the heaven tempests were dark. Men are naturally, naturally afraid of the dark. So are some animals. With no lights and a cloudy sky above, it could be dark, completely dark. For the moon's light, it is at all times caused by the illumination from the sun. It is preferable, water resistant, readily available globally and low cost. But he still wasn't satisfied. He still isn't satisfied of what light could do to him. The introvert says, I'd like to know what it's like inside. Inside of light, inside of darkness. I am a man, a major man. I waited my entire life for this, this entire life for this specific moment. They told me it would not be worth it. They said not even God could help me after passing the gate, but I never cared what others told me, neither I care about God. This is this is not to say that God is dead, but that God resists presence. God knows how they did it. He knows how they developed from human beings to light itself. Something new will be born, a new God. They call me crazy, but they are all afraid of death. But only death creates new light. Nothing was arbitrary, all was God intended. God knows why, but what is God? God is light, nothing more and nothing less. Light is not life, but all life is worth nothing without light. Imagination is spatial, not a concentral act. What's more tranquil than a peace of mind? Nothing. I have an idea. Then I woke up from my sleep. Now conscious again, I cursed my dream and complained that gods were no help. Little as I care for the terms extrovert and introvert, they are doubtless the best way of defining their antithesis. I know it deep inside me. I must go through the gate and join the other side. I read it before. It is the only way to change your consciousness. The introvert became extroverted and the extrovert introverted. I must do it now. It's my last chance. There is not a light, not a night. No substance can be comprehended without light and shade. Light and shade are caused by light. I'm standing right in front of it. My whole body is shaking, skin tingling, blood rushing through my veins. Too bright, asked Lemionis. Entirely too bright, but Melia. It was a brilliant choice. What man has made, man may destroy. That was it from my side.